Hello Falcons fans, J. Michael Moore here and welcome to Mock Draft 4.0 on J. Mike's Missives. We are nearing the 2010 NFL Draft. In fact, here in a couple hours we will be exactly one week away from the first round kicking off at Radio City Music Hall. Primetime draft this year, first round will be Thursday evening, second and third round on Friday evening, and we'll come back on Saturday for the rest of the draft. So some long nights here in Fire Branch, but hopefully some happy nights as the team starts putting together its future through the 2010 selection process. As we've been doing here on AtlantaFalcons.com, more specifically my blog, we've been going through and tracking some different scenarios that the Falcons may be facing as the 2010 NFL Draft approaches and what we may actually see come draft day for the Atlanta Falcons. And today we go in the number 19 pick, no trades, even though I do start off the blog with a little bit of discussion on that. Trades are just too much to keep up with in mocks, but don't be surprised if the team certainly considers trade offers at that selection. But anyway, number 19 pick, we're going to go Everson Griffin from USC, defensive end. A lot of people think that defensive end may be where the Falcons are going to go all along in this draft. And Griffin, if you listen to your gut, or at least if I do, think maybe he's not necessarily a flashy pick, but a safe one at number 19. Good size for defensive end. Maybe not quite the quickness this team may look for, but certainly instincts can be coached up, and he can learn to overcome that. Remember, you need people to play against the run and the pass in the NFL, so it's not all about getting to the quarterback at the defensive line position. So Griffin at number 19 for the Falcons. Again, another option, another scenario, another name that's getting thrown around in a lot of different mock drafts. So the logic here, in my mind, for the Falcons would be to take a player, perhaps the best defensive end available at that time in the draft. A lot of the good ones are going to go off the board early. A lot of the guys with athletic ability, like Jason Paul Pierre, may even go in the top 10. I have him going to the top 10 of the Raiders, a pick I stand by pretty much through this entire mock draft because of Al Davis's love of speed. And when you look at the YouTube video of Jason Pierre-Paul doing backflips after practice, he definitely has the athletic ability that a team like the Oakland Raiders would like. Top five, I didn't change much in this draft. And then you go on down to division opponent, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking Gerald McCoy. A good pick for the Bucks, especially since they do need to revamp that up defensive line. Go down a little bit further, have Eric Berry. He's not going to go outside of the top ten, but I definitely have him going higher in this round with the Kansas City Chiefs. Perhaps, again, as I've said before, the safest player in this entire selection process. Denver Broncos shake things up a little bit in this one by taking Rolando McClain. I certainly think linebackers a position they may need as they continue to retool their defense into a 3-4. That throws the Titans off a little bit. They take Sean Weatherspoon. Excuse me. The Giants throws the Giants off a little bit. They take Sean Weatherspoon, thinking that he would perhaps play at the middle linebacker position. Titans take Kyle Wilson, a corner the Falcons fans had their eye on before the team goes out and signs Dante Robinson. Move on down the board a little bit more. We'll go past the Falcons pick, as always, and we'll take a look at the other division opponents. Carolina does not have a first-round pick. New Orleans Saints going defensive end, and Carlos Dunlap. I would not rule out, however, them going on the offensive side of the ball. Let's go ahead and see if they can build up and help Drew Brees. That would be the thought process there. But defense is a spot where I see the Saints continuing to stay very aggressive. So, come on back next week. It'll be our final installment of the mock draft process, mock draft 5.0. And again, the first round of the NFL draft, Thursday, April 22nd, 7.30 PM. We're going to have some nice coverage on AtlantaFalcons.com, introducing our draft cast. Be able to get live video from Flowery Branch pretty much wire to wire for the entire NFL draft. Also have exclusive commentary from the GM, have some comments thrown in there from fans. Just a good time, kind of a telethon feel that we're going to be pushing on AtlantaFalcons.com come draft day. So a shameless plug, got to put it into, into this somehow. We'll be back next week for Mock Draft 5.0.